gear, talents, glyphs, strats, and it doesn't stop there. Find out more in the Discord link below. Hey everyone, Darius here. Uh, today we have a pretty commonly requested matchup. It's going to be HPAL PhD versus Thundercleave. Um, it's pretty commonly really requested because they straight up hard counter us. They hard counter us because they come with essentially the same toolkit in terms of offensive, you know, mortal strike and damage and defensive cooldowns, but they also bring Bloodlust and Z-Axis Nox and Purge, uh, which just completely destroys our ability to counter pressure them while they can freely counter pressure us. So normally with a Priest PhD, I'm going to be looking to counter pressure the Warrior and Dragon behind the pillar and kind of clean him off the sacred shield, the the freedoms, and the small sacks and stuff like that. But in this case, we just don't have that option. So the warrior really isn't too vulnerable to this counter pressure. And instead, our best target, the softest target in this case, is going to be the H pal because at least we can force the H pal's bubble and potentially kill him with well set up swaps. I'll kind of take you guys through how we plan to execute it in this game. So. Start's pretty simple. We just don't want to let him, the warrior freely, kind of push in on us. Um, we want to try to drag him behind the pillar. So if he is taking any damage, it puts the paladin either in an uncomfortable position or just doesn't allow him to free cast. Um, this warrior doesn't want to follow us, though. He's not playing very aggressive. Um, so what I'm looking for here is a paladin to use freedom offensively on the warrior, which will allow me to swap to the paladin, who won't be able to escape as easily. The paladin is being quite stingy with it, which isn't a bad bad idea. He doesn't really feel the need to use it at this point. So instead, I get a bit impatient waiting for this freedom, because I just don't feel like we're doing enough at this point. And I decide, hey, you know what? I'm just, I have a gnaw for the, the paladin anyways, even if he does have the freedom. So I'm going to send it with a swap, see what I can get. So I look for the grip here. I see the pally in a kind of vulnerable position. I'm able to nom on top of the freedom, but unfortunately, in this instance, Kanto gets intercepted. So he's not able to apply aim shot, even though we do land the follow up Hodge. I just kind of abandon the go because without aim shot, the pally swaps Sacred Shield. We're just not going to be able to finish this go. So we're better off just leaving it as is and ma immediately making a swap to the warrior to make sure that he doesn't get too aggressive on our hunter. So the benefit, although this was seemed like a failed go overall, the benefit is real in the sense that I was able to force the Paladin to use freedom on himself, which basically denies him the ability to use it on the Warrior offensively. So the Warrior offensively would prefer, ideally, to get a freedom into a Bladestorm so he can stay on top of our Hunter as much as possible. But in this case, he's not going to have that freedom available to go offensive with. So although our go on the Paladin failed to force his bubble, it still wasn't ineffective. So I make the swap here to start counter pressuring the war. I abandon the go. There's no way for Kanto to follow. Um, and now it's just about trying to damage and pressure the war as much as we can. Um, he does use Bladestorm here, but for the same reason that I abandon the go on the Paladin, the warrior decides to abandon the go on the Hunter. He's got his Bladestorm up still, but our Hunter has a full freedom. So there's no sense in trying to chase him and dragging himself further away from his Paladin, further out of line of sight. He decides to make a hard swap now to our Paladin, who doesn't have his freedom available, and you can see the outcome here. So even though we get the Disarm on the Warrior, they're still able to force Bubble with the uh, the Hodge on the Paladin, and not looking good for us. So at this point, now I'm a bit slow on this. I should have seen, uh, I should have AMS at this point. This is a little sloppy by me. Uh, in my defense, he didn't put a flame shock on me, so I wasn't expecting him to, to send a, a chain lightning into me here. But at this point, the Paladin doesn't have freedom available. My grip is coming up, so I really want to look for the swap here on the Paladin. Chasing down the Warrior is pointless. He's still got shield block available, and he's still got a little bit of his hand of sacrifice running. It's not going well for us if we just keep telling the Warrior we're going to run out of cooldowns first, simply put. So I look for the swap here on the Paladin. We do have some Desecration on the ground. We do have some Frost Traps, so we'll be able to get some damage on him before he makes it over to the Pillar if I can grip him in the open, and we should be able to force Bubble with this, and let's see how it goes. So we grip him in, do some damage. Uh, the Shaman pumps me with a little bit of magic attack, so he keeps feeding me runic power, so I'm able to get the counter pressure going. And so at this point, we got our bubble. I'm, we could start pushing on the warrior, but again, no point, because he's still got shield block and shield wall available. So while pushing damage on the warrior would be pretty good here, it's not really in our best interest, because all we're going to do is force a defensive cooldown and, and run out of juice ourselves. So... I stay on the warrior to make it appear as if I'm staying on the warrior, but really I'm just pulling up my damage for my inevitable next go on the paladin. And the, the great thing about this go on the paladin is he won't have freedom available for quite a while, and I'm going to be able to connect to him uh, pretty effectively after he's out of that bubble. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, 
So I'm just, like I said, I'm just pretending to hit this warrior so the paladin keeps sacred shield on him, but really I'm just waiting for that bubble to end so I can make a swap. So I didn't freeze it at the right time, but I right before I made this swap, I made a, I made a mistake in my rune management. This is something you guys should be conscious of too as Death Knight players. I went for a blood boil just kind of for fun, essentially. I didn't really need to do that, but because I did, I wasted my blood rune and I didn't have it available here and it almost lost me the game. Ideally, since I hadn't used my string, I wanted to have that blood rune available for immediately as the bubble fell so I could blanket string the paladin, chains him, keep him stuck out in the open and prevent him from swapping sacred shield so I can, you know, then potentially grip him into the open, into a gnaw, into a hajj, whatever we need to. But because I was slow, because I made a miscalculation and I don't have my blood tap or empower rune weapon available, I'm going to be a bit slow here. So we actually could have lost quite easily because I had to I had to kind of fill this global with the chains and then throw a death coil while I'm waiting for my new blood rune to come up so I can get this strangulate. And in this time frame, the paladin's able to get a cleanse on himself, get that chains off of himself, and also get sacred cleansing up. When you strang into a sacred cleansing, you have a 30% chance of it getting resisted. So it's, it was a very dangerous play in the sense that I made this error here, but it did end up working out for us. So here we make the swap on the paladin. I do eventually land the string. I get all my damage. I have everything pulled. I see the Ellie coming up to me to try to knock me off, but I'm able to uh, stop his... Uh, stop his knock from finishing or from taking me too far away although I still did have my grip so at this point I think the paladin was pretty toast no matter what but yeah that's the basics of it right so no, don't overcommit to certain targets but you can't just directly tunnel down something like a holy paladin and expect to win because if they use their freedoms well if they get some crit shocks and and if they just manage their cooldowns to a basic degree you're never going to take them out straight on but if you can disorient them and put them in bad positions and make hard swaps them with grips and pulled runic power you're going to be much more successful and at least give your chance give yourself a chance of beating a counter so i hope you found this helpful and if you did please throw me a subscribe on youtube it's always appreciated and it's free and there's also so much more information freely available in my discord that i'm happy to share with you guys so thank you very much. Uh play down, play down, play down. Uh, oh, I, don't get I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start making grip swaps on the pally more. Like a second I see freedom, <laughs> I kinda just wanna go pally. Okay. Starting where you Lava burst. I'm gonna stop this. Oh, trying to spread the uh fair. Thunderstorm. Yeah, they're actually gonna go on my pet. Grip pally, grip pally, grip pally. Gnawing him? I cannot aim shot him. I'm gonna get a jump. Okay. Dropping Garg, I'm stopping the warrior. Okay, I finally did the one, I'll master him. Staying warrior. He's lost on my pet, I'm gonna try to jump maybe. Yep. Let me jump me. Uh, minion. That's my one. So we can go uh, power, we can go right? No, go power, go power. Aim us. There's no freedom, we can we just need a force bubble here. Ah fuck. Maybe we can Aim still get him? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got bubble. We're going warriors. Uh I'm just trying to stay in your line. Pally. Okay. Come closer, I need a bot. Uh okay. Get ready to swap pally. Get ready to swap pally. Yeah, yeah. Strength, strength, strength. Earth Strength. Divine sacrifice. Intimidating shout. I, I avoided the knock, I avoided the knock. No, 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 That's just kill, we kill, we kill. We kill. No, no, he's not dead, bro. Dude, my kill so did not dodge. Like. It's okay, we got it, we got it. Okay. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. The outplays are real. Retaliation. Okay, I need to see how much stones is my kill so I think he, the, the shaman got a lesser healing. I, bro, I, th I swear though, I thought the pally died. Like, I think I swapped my target okay. off him. 